you're so protective of them. You come to my page and you call me a, a cornball, a this, a that. Is Cat paying your rent? Is he putting your kids to college? Is he putting dinner on your table? Why are you cheerleading for this man so hard? How has he changed your life by his mm -hmm. truth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. We can't. That's why I get my thing with the cat. Okay, he stood in his truth. I'm all right. But why not use that energy for something greater instead of this? A news cycle. Gossip. Did he run a 4.3? Uh, they said he, they said he did. <laughs> and they showed the time when he ran it. You say, saw that. Right. Say that he ran right through that. Hey, I don't know. Do you believe it? <laughs> Do you believe you it? You know, when Kat went, uh, I've never done a drug in my life. <laughs> I've, you know, I've never been. You've done drugs. <laughs> Somebody done weed, don't do that. Weed calm you down. You fighting 14 year olds. Stop it. <laughs> 19 arrests, but never no convictions. So what are we celebrating? Is that a brag? I've been arrested 19 times, but never no convictions. But you were arrested 19 times. What are you bragging about? Damn. LeBron James, I've been to the finals a gazillion times, only four championships. What are you bragging about? I know that might not be the best analogy, because the positive <laughs> thing is he won the championship. Yeah, but you be giving LeBron Oh, well, boy. I don't want to. I just, a lot of people love LeBron now. But he's Absolutely. a Mike, I'm a Michael Jordan fan, so I'm not going to even go I'm there with Shaq you. I'm a Shaq fan. I didn't like Michael Jackson well, back Michael then. Michael Jordan. Bro. Michael Jordan, sorry. Michael yeah. Jordan, I did not. I was always rooting for everybody was Michael Jordan. I'm opposite. Malone. No, right. Shaq. Shaq and Kobe was my team. They, wasn't even, old enough to, they oh, wasn't even old enough to do nothing back then. We all, I'm old. Oh, Larry I'm old. Bird. I used to love Larry oh, Bird. Larry cool, but Larry, uh, now you say Isaiah Thomas or something, that's different. You know what I'm saying? Them boys worked hard, but he kept knocking them out the way. He, they couldn't get in. <laughs> Mailman, Malone, it, 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 them boys have no, nightmares but, right now. Michael, by, Jordan, by Michael is, Jordan There was and is very talented. Well, he I'm going to give the that. Goat was. Well, I, yeah. I don't like going there because I know who the goat was. Just yeah. like I don't like and the Cowboys. Yeah. I'm not a Cowboys fan because You're everybody no <laughs> because yeah. they're so called America's team but they haven't won a, a Super Bowl in how how long? But everywhere I take you, don't you see the jersey? Don't you see the people? The yeah. reaction is great. You see it all over America. Yeah. You got to acknowledge it. He sees it everywhere he go. Yeah, even in Kansas, even though they win, you are gonna have a couple of old uh, jerseys like my boy. Dallas is like the Lakers. You know, that's it, right. It's just a franchise <laughs> that is adored heavily and hated heavily. Yeah. So you they're know. the best brand. Brand wise, they are the best brand yeah. ever. Yeah, but the one thing I can say, man, when you see like like you see Cat Williams, and he's the type of guy that he gonna come back from this. Kevin's gonna come back from this. I agree with you. 100%. But there's nothing to come back. No, I mean, from. far as far as with the with the internet, the internet is right in your face. So, yeah, but, but but again, we have this is why I go. We have to be careful with this because the message that is sent out is that somehow they need to come back. They took an L. Cat damaged their careers. That is ridiculous. Nobody needs to come back from anything. Nobody really even needs to respond to anything. <laughs> They're going to still be the millionaires they are. They are. And while all the people that are like, ooh and I are worried about what's going on with that bull, how's your life? Mm -hmm. Are you rich? That's real. That's Do you fun. have a boss you have to answer to? Mm -hmm. Do you have a grind that you got to get up and do every day that you hate because you're not living your dream? Chris Tucker, all them people, Ricky Smiley, Steve, Cedric, they're living their dream while you work for somebody. Yeah. They're yeah, living their dream while you punch a clock. Mm -hmm. While you cheerleading for them, you got their back so hard, protect at all costs. You, it, you, you're so protected of them. You come to my page and you calling me a, a cornball, a this, a that. Is Cat paying your rent? Is he putting your kids to college? Is he putting dinner on your table? Why are you cheerleading for this man so hard? How has he changed your life by his mm -hmm. truth? Mm -hmm. Wow, did you? But hold on, but, uh, but it's almost the same like, okay, so when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, mm. did Will Smith actually come back from all of that like how he did before? Like how he was he, before the slap? Will Smith, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Time heals everything. That's true, but and he hasn't you, been working like he used to. Okay, what does that mean? What he's living out of a out of a no, a he's not. Box now? No, he's not. <laughs> and he'll be fine. Trust me, he'll be fine. As soon as he does that next movie that kills at the box office, 
Yeah, he's Will Smith again. It, 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 it it's it's ridiculous, you know. Well, I I, I got to ask you about this because you're in Texas now. Um, when did you start having an issue with Lizzo? I got to ask you that. Like, and I, I, I never, I never. And had why, an issue. You just said something, and everybody in the internet just sprung to it. Yeah, uh, I, I never had a. I don't know the woman personally. I've never met her. I don't have an issue with her. I was being a comedian. That's okay, what I am. I'm a comedian. What did he say? Well, it was I you made a joke about made a joke. how she looked and whatnot. You and, know, and then we had Faison on on here, and he said something about it. To be honest with you, were like, yeah, um, you know, why is he talking about fat people? You know, you had lost a little weight too. Then too, I was yeah. looking at you. Yeah. So it's like you used to be a little bigger, oh, and yeah. you done trimmed down now. Yeah. It's almost like okay, we got to protect the fat people at all costs. Yeah. <laughs> you know that again. As much as I love. Social media, kind of, as, as much as it can be a blessing, uh, it is definitely a curse. Because I'm telling you, it gives everybody a platform. I mainly use it for prom as a promotional tool. Even mm -hmm. tell you what show I got going on. And also, if you do it right, you can make money off of it. You know what I mean? So from a business standpoint, that to me is the greatest gift you can have. But the fact of the matter is, the mass majority of the people on there ain't using it for business. Mm. They don't know how to use it for business. They got no reason to use it for business. So they on there for the likes and the comments. When I post, I don't post to just be posting. I'm posting with a purpose. Mm -hmm. I'm making money. You know what I mean? For the comedy clips that I post, I'm making five figures a month off of Facebook. You know, certain things that I, at the end of every, all of one of my posts, I always go and subscribe to my podcast, blah, 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 blah. Because when I get those numbers up and I use those advertiser dollars for my pocket, I get paid. Right. I kind of doing it for likes and comments. I kind of feel like you somewhere here recently started to figure it out even more, like about the monetizations. Just looking at through which, your. Which, what I started to figure out was this, and Warren Buffett has a great quote. If you can't control your emotions, you can't control your money. Mm. And I would get into verbal wars with people on on Instagram. You can say something to me, blah, 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 blah. and then those people report you, your account mm. gets blocked, now you can't monetize. You've taken yourself out of position to make money because you couldn't control your emotions. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. So put your ego away, ignore it. Continue to monetize, continue to build, continue continue to, you know, build relationships and make money. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Wow. I was going to say something about what you were talking no, about. I slipped I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. You just, like I said, you come through really in a way to where you educate more when I watch your interviews, to be honest with you. Like, like I didn't know that at first. I know honest. my aggression can be a turn off. Well, oh, it's, it's crazy. It can go either listen, way. Listen, it can listen, go either listen, way listen. now. I'm, I'm, I'm a New Yorker. I'm an Aries. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a man. So I got all of the, the outfit that lined it's, up. You know, I'm, my I'm Zodiac sorry. sign is Aries. I'm April 3rd. So, you know, we a fiery sign. So between me being an Aries, me being from New York, me being a man, you know, I got all the ingredients in the hostility gumbo. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I, but that's just who I am. I, I'm just, you know, I'm that's just who you. I am. I'm so yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.